Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the raid, the Ruby Sanctum, over in uh, Dragonblight in Northern. And uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at a bounce here. Uh, the way I got out was right over here. I metamorphosis out right by this cliff and then jumped up out here and just got up over here. So we're out of the bounds uh, of the dungeon already, or the raid, as she used to say. So let's go take a look around. Uh, one thing I do have always loved about this raid is I love the red trees. Now, just like the Obsidian Sanctum, I don't know if there's going to be too much out of bounds here. But let's go take a look and see if there's anything we can find or explore. So let's go head out this way. And it looks like we already got a pathway we can walk up, so that's good. I don't know if it leads to a dead end or not, but we're going to find out. Now, this seems to be a lot easier to get out of than the uh, Obsidian Sanctum dungeon. For those of you that watched that video, uh, that was kind of a pain in the butt to get out of that dungeon. I thought it was going to be a lot easier than it was. We just failed our flying over there, by the way. So let's go. <laughs> let's go take a look this way and see what we can find. Uh... Maybe we can go up this way. Or maybe not. Alright, we're gonna have to find another way. I should go back over there. But I kinda wanna go walk around for just a second. And see what's over here. So normally you're not supposed to get to some of these bosses in the dungeon until you kill other bosses first. So I'm curious to see like how the game would break. If we killed the final boss without killing the other bosses, like, that would be interesting. Now, I'm going to try to avoid going back in because we don't want to clip back into bounds here. So we got to be careful. We're going to stay on the outer edge here. Help. I am trapped within this tree. I require aid. I'm sure you do. Oh, we got a wall. I think we just clipped back into bounds. Dang it. All right, we got to be careful walking out that way. So good thing we're demon hunter, though. All right, we're going to come up this way. This looks like a good path, actually. So let's go take a look this way. Yeah, there we go. Looks like we're clipping out now. All right, let's go over the mountains, like we always say. Uncle Rico. Um... And let's, oops, let's go over here, or actually, let's go right here, up here. Uh, trying to get on top of there because I want to bell rush over there. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I could just fly over there, right? Yeah. All right. What am I, what am I, what am I thinking? All right, let's go out this way. We are officially out of the Ruby Sanctum, so that's good. Now let's go take a look at some of the landmass back here. Oh, gosh. Okay. Ooh, that was a close one. We almost fell. That would have been bad. Now, if you notice, the music stops out here. I don't hear any more music going on. As I say that, the music starts. <laughs> All right, never mind. I thought the music would stop out here, but I lied. All right, so we do got the edge of the world out here already. Oops. Keep jumping off my mount. Don't mean to keep doing that. I'm just so thankful you can ride mounts in these, some of these raids. Because, like, gosh, it takes forever to get around maps. Here goes the edge of the world. That is interesting what is that all about it's like falling leaves out here what you guys see this is that gonna restart again there we go you can see like textured falling leaves huh i think that's actually part of the raid right back in the beginning
All right, let's go run back this way. Let's go see if we can find anything interesting this way. Like I said before, just like the Obsidian Sanctum, I don't think we're going to be finding too much out here. But you never know. The game always ceases, never ceases to surprise me. So, um, Gosh, I'm so afraid to jump. Every time, yeah, I think I'm going to head and be safe. I'm going to head out this way. I think what I'm going to do is get up there and then fly out back that way. Okay, it looks like a really safe mountain to climb up there. Yep, let's go out this way. There's an interesting landmass out here. Let's go take a look. You know, I wonder what the design team at Blizzard was thinking back in the day when they were making these, you know, raids and dungeons and all that, because you have so many blocky textures and all that that it's just really, you know, strange um, that they choose these designs but i guess you know you're never supposed to see this stuff anyways right it's like uh it reminds me of like uh art work of art right like you have an untextured version of art you want to see you want people to see the the finished painting or you want them to see the uh the halfway finished painting right so i guess that's kind of what you're looking at so we do got some ground texture out here uh it looks like the uh grass type texture uh, we do got a void over here of one of those giant, you know, gray squares that we see. I think we can come up the mountain. I think, you know, this is like very similar to the Obsidian Sanctum uh, mountain that we had climbed earlier, if you guys remember the last video. Good thing these uh, raids are so close to each other. Ah, uh, can we get to the top is the question. Maybe not. Okay. We got a cool view of it, though. All right, so what we want to do is we want to fly back out this way. There we go, because we want to go take a look out this way and over here. So let's go fly back into bounds here. Speed up our process a little bit. Let's go land on the mountain over here. There we go. All right, let's get back on our cool looking ghost mount and let's go take a look out this way. It's a pretty skybox they have on this map. My question in lore, um, in lore, if anybody can tell me. Where is where are these these raids located? Because you go through a portal in Dragonblight. Where is the Ruby Sanctum? Where is the um, Obsidian Sanctum? Like where are these in on Azeroth? Like are they on Azeroth? Is this uh, pre Sundering? You know where is the? Maybe someone can help me answer that because I'm not you know super amazing in lore when it comes to World of Warcraft. But I was just always curious. Of, is this taking separate? This is a whole separate place, like it's its own, you know, what what is happening here? So if anybody knows that answer, I would love to hear. Um, maybe you can edu educate me, get educated on some World of Warcraft lore, and I would really appreciate it. I could also probably just Google it too, <laughs> but that's not as fun, right? All right, so come out this way. Looks like there's not too much out here. We do got some more green uh, grass landmass out here. Now, the last thing I want to do before we head back into the dungeon, I do want to go kill the final boss just to see how the game glitches out. Because technically, you're not supposed to kill that boss until you do some other stuff first. Ah, here we go. We do got some different texture going on out here. We got some more void. Oh, that's an interesting texture. Oh, we fell. No. 
I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, I'm so sad. That was a sad moment, guys. I did not mean to do that. Son of a gun. Um, let's see if we can go back in this way. No. Shucks. Well, poop. I did not mean to do that. I wanted to go kill the last boss and show you guys what might happen when you kill the boss preemptively without doing the other objectives first. But the good thing is, is I think it's a retro copy. And I think we actually did a... Uh... No! And we just fell even more. Gosh, we're so bad at this game. <laughs> Alright. Well, when in doubt... Um, can't fire it out. what I say. So we're going to kill ourselves with some nitro fuel. And we're going to go back to the beginning of this dungeon. There we go. Alright. Now. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back out of bounds. And let's go kill the final boss. Or one of the bosses that you're not supposed to get to right away first. Uh, I gotta remember where the heck I got out of bounds. Goodness gracious. Okay. This is gonna be quite the challenge. Because I believe it was right here. I got out somewhere over here. Oh, come on, game. Be nice. Jeez. Yeah, I think it's up here. There we go. Alright, that's where you get out. Right over here. Now, let's go kill the boss over here. Not the final boss, but the boss you're not supposed to unlock until later. And I want to see how the game glitches out. I'm very curious now. Okay, we don't want to go in too early because I don't want to clip back in bounds and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you're back in. And we can't even get to him. There he is. All right. We're going to do a sneak attack. He's not even going to know what's coming. Oh, you can't even attack him. Oh, interesting. So you can't even get to him anyways. So nothing actually happens. Because <laughs> technically it hasn't triggered his fight yet. Because you're already over the flames. Um, and you haven't done the other objectives. So, well that's funny. Question, can we attract some of these people? Nope. Because technically we're in a place that you're not supposed to get to to begin with. Alright, well there you go. There's your answer. You can't kill the boss over here. Alright guys, well, I think I'm going to end the video here. That was quite an adventure. Um, thank you for joining. And uh, as always, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Take care.